All right, yeah, you're taking a while to smooth. Jeez, yeah, this really slows down. Flipping hell. All right, but um, yeah, so this is everything in smooth. I think I've already shown this piece, but let me just zoom in. Yeah, so it's got like these kind of bolt things here. Uh, and then these clamps on each part that clamp this glass. There is glass, um, it's hard to see. But yeah, you can see the, the glass on top and that's what it kind of rolls up. Uh, but yeah. So the idea of, for example, with this, um, let's just say this area, you'd be like, okay, the detail's going up the center here. And so this part, the connecting to it, is actually simple. Uh, on the top, it's flat, I think. Is it flat? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's totally flat. Um, and then, like, there's more detail on the sides. Because the problem is, if I had detail along here, it'd become too busy. And you don't really want... <clears throat> I still make things too busy, but I'm improving at it. <laughs> you don't want things being busy everywhere. Um, so it's good to have, you know, some flat surfaces of this, for example, which is just like a flat screen, which contrasts to the more detailed, you know, working mechanisms below it. Um, let me move you out of the way. But yeah, um, this was the overall bed area. I was quite happy with this. Um, kind of industrial-ish looking, not mega, like, the this part is um, smoothish, but I got that. Hang on, just go away, POF. This program's getting on my nerves. Um, where are you? Bed, 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 bed. I don't know if the bed's on here. Midlife refresh. Hmm. Medical bed. No, I don't have the reference I had for that. Um, can't really open. But uh, I looked at a lot of medical bed reference while building it. And I think that helped a lot to get like these kind of soft surfaces because you want someone to be able to grab it but not hurt themselves on it if you know they do hit it. So there was a lot of research into that, which was good. Um, not much to say about the back because the back wing is the same as the front wing. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about paneling, I guess. Ah, oh, that's a selective thing. I'm also going to do a separate like modeling video and I'll just record me modeling something. So I'm not going to get too much into the modeling in this video because it's going to take forever. Like this model did take forever. So, um, but if I just hide this, yeah. So, so with this, um, the intention was to have interesting panels, but n make sure the panels didn't deter away from the actual shape. Um, and yeah, this took quite a while, but the, you know, it was kind of like, um, I wanted it to flow with the shape, um, and be kind of integrated into it, uh, as well as, you know, oh, understanding that this is made from separate pieces and this is how it's put together. Uh, this part as well, this is curved and that is, um, quite significant because it meant that the glass had to also curve, um, oh, hang on, what the hell? The glass isn't flat, it's, it's, it's got thickness. Uh, okay, hang on, yeah. I thought I had thickness, Jesus. All right, so you can see as well, everything is curved from the solar panels um, to the glass. And to do that curve, I had to use the bend modifier um, and then curve it on two axes. So I had to first curve it in this direction and then I had to curve it slightly in that direction um, to get that curve to the right and it curving to the right but also curving down. Um, not fun because all of this geo, um, when you try and bend it, it's, it's not happy. It's 300,000 polys um, and Maya doesn't really like bending complex geometry. But um, uh, it was warning in the end when you look at a render like this. Uh, I haven't loaded up the renders but... I never posted this one, these renders, but um, I might post them in the next one. It was render test. Uh, no, it's not render test. It's final. Yeah. So if I open this one, <coughs> nope, not that one. Uh, final renders. Help me. No, you are not helping. Trial render. There you go. This is the folder. So. You can see her up. No, oh, you're on the wrong freaking screen. There you go. The curve of the shape there, you can see is that that subtle curve and the glass.
curves with it um, and that helped a lot for refraction um, but yeah I didn't post any of these so I will probably post them in the next one and uh, I'll keep this folder open but uh, yeah that was quite interesting and the breakup of panels was just be sleek but don't mess up the shape of the wing because this you want it to kind of help the shape of the wing you know help identify it not um, not intrude on the shape of the wing and if you make panels that don't flow with it then the panels will become distracting um, so yeah that was the main idea panel wise with this uh, if I look at the foot uh, so look at the foot I didn't get any close-up shots of this so you don't actually see this in full detail um, but the idea the idea with this was mostly have a, like have a mechanical feel to it but obviously you don't want the mechanics to be totally exposed uh, this is more exposed than it should be realistically it wouldn't be exposed but that doesn't help me in grounding it so I, I would rather go for this look um, and show that yeah there is mechanical thought behind it it's not just a plank of metal um, and I, I think it came out quite well these marvelous parts were copied from the back so I just I placed them you know reused parts for back here, same for these bits down there that I tried to use to illuminate the area. Uh, but yeah, and the idea being that, you know, the battery, the, whole, the mechanism is still powered by one of these high level batteries over there. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like, that's the simple rest, 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 rest. And then the rest of it is kind of highly complex. Um, uh, shape language wise, I, I showed that this bit came from Hugh here, but the rest of it is me, kind of, really. It's, I don't know where exactly, it's just, I don't know, it just came from that design language, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, just just one thing here. Uh, the breakup of this panels, uh, see this is 50-50, fail, but um, the, the idea is that this bit was 30 and that was the 70, so it's kind of like a long panel to a short panel, and then this thickness of light grey, you can see is 70 to this blue, which is 30 again, so it's, it's kind of, but you can see the issue here where this edge to this edge is not 70 30 so you can't it's hard to get it everywhere but you try and get it in as much as you can basically um just one thing i thought i'd mention on that but i think uh yeah let's let's hide the wings hang on uh that explains it oh uh, oh maya please stop okay so body wise this was a mission but it was rewarding when i got it right um well i got it correct in the end uh one thing i did like a lot about this is if i show you uh, uh mclaren 720 years door uh i can't remember there's a name for this and i can't remember what the the actual proper name is but uh not for worry. Uh, it happens that it, it, supercars tend to put it indoors a lot, I'm not sure why. Um, actually no, I, I know why, it's because the intake is in the door. So when you cut somewhere where intake is um, on like a supercar, it tends to make this um, kind of pocket area. So it's this, you can kind of put something inside this area. Uh, you can see there as well, there's that kind of gap and that's what happens with this bit. So there's this kind of internal pocket area that um, I managed to create, which I really liked. It did remind me of that. It wasn't intentionally like inspired by those, but when I did it, I noticed it. Um, and that was like a sleek way of moving up from a, a, a larger kind of thicker edge into the smaller back part of the body. Um, as you can see there, it kind of slopes in. Um, and then with this, it was just about breaking it up, um, kind of up into panels, you know, so, oh, it's been put together, it's not just one huge unibody. Um, it did take a lot of time and it was quite hard to add enough detail here, um, but this was done like last minute because this drone took so long that it was, I was just running out of time. But it's, uh, yeah, I think it worked, it came out pretty well. Um, there's nothing really 
major here, I'd say. Um, there's a detail that, yeah, there, another detail that no one's ever going to see or no one saw because I never showed it. But um, <laughs> it's a bad habit I'm trying to figure fix up. Um, and this bit here was for the wires from the internals and then they kind of, the, the wires kind of swing back to the back here. Um, and you can see there's more, sorry, the field of view means at the floor. Hang on, let me double side to the floor. Hello, hello. Uh, when this starts, uh, double sided. All right, yeah, cool. Sorry, they won't get in the way anymore. Okay, but uh, yeah. So at the back here, oh, go away. At the back, you can see the like the rear point where <clears throat> it's one mounted the camera, and two it has the rear kind of stabilizers as well. So these would like rotate, I guess. But um, I don't know. I think that's m most of the major points. A lot of this I just designed as I went along. I can't go into the exact <laughs> decisions along each part because I can't, honestly, I can't really remember all of it. My brain was just in the flow. Um, so it's harder to, now I'm looking back at it to kind of cut pieces up. But um, oh yeah, here's a little like, smaller details so that's inspired by um uh you're not even going to be able to see it because of the way this mood board is all oh, right is this is okay there's one there you have to just believe me no uh oh uh, you can't really see it but yeah there's one there it's kind of like that but it's inside um and that was like a small detail that i noticed on a lot of the helicopters so i was like all right i want to try and implement that um in somewhere as well but also i wanted to implement it in between these two pieces so it becomes like a bridge between them and you can see this part kind of goes over so there's kind of this overlapping of shapes um that i liked oh, uh, select this piece too um to kind of just join them together because uh, you know i was running out of time so i couldn't join them together properly but at least try and imply it um but yeah uh solar panels wise i, I don't know if anyone's wondering uh these are pretty simple it's one block of glass uh, that's for Keyshot. So when I model things like this, it's because I know roughly what Keyshot will do to it. Um, and then it's like a ton of these tiny uh, hexagons, like really wide hexagons. Um, and then there's this light here to illuminate um, the glass, because Keyshot and glass is quite a nice mix. If I uh, go back, I can show you the... <clears throat> Do, 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 do. what that looks like yeah so these were some early test renders um with the transparent glass solar panels inspired by these actual real ones that do exist um and you can see how the light kind of diffuses through them and from a certain angle it kind of has this repetition look and i really liked that um at this point as well i'm just gonna yeah i'll talk about this i'm not gonna open it but this was before when the solar panels would be draping from the top i scrapped it because uh, the sun actually wouldn't get as much like um, exposure there. It's probably going to be mostly on the top. Not only that, the wings do cover that kind of area at like at a certain orientation. So it just made sense to move them um, since they were, you know, it, they weren't the most practical, and they also destroyed the silhouette of the rear of the ship. Now, at the time, that was intentional because I didn't know what I was doing with the rear of the ship. <laughs> so I thought if I cover it in solar panels, like you know, you don't have to. It, it, it's like it's less obvious. But I fixed the rear of the ship in the end, so they would have only just covered what the work that I had done. Um, and so they were removed. Uh, which was a hard one because I felt that they were part of the signature of the ship But you know the wings and the bed alone were enough that I, I felt okay It's still it's still this ship even if I do remove them. So I you know, I got rid of them uh, the sirens mesh wise are actually pretty if I swing this. <coughs> uh, this kind of like um, it's like a square, like a stretched square pattern uh, for the glass of the sirens to help when um, it refracts the light from Keyshot. And then it's got like another layer of just like normal glass underneath it and then the lights. Um, and I don't think I did a zoom in of this, but um, yeah, I think that's the main, that's the main overview. Uh, oh, oh, hello. 
All right, cool. So details like this bit down here uh, came from, I, I showed earlier, the, not radar, but the kind of sensor that be belongs below the helicopter. But what I did here was I kind of just integrated it into this piece. So the idea is that this is holding this bit up and it's connected up here. Um, quite interesting, but I didn't take many pictures from below. So you, you wouldn't really see that, but from the side, you could, you could see this part. So um, I just wanted to make sure it looked, you know, right from there. Uh, this part, oh, really annoying that piece. Right. I'm not sure you can see. No, you can't see this. Okay, but if I just select these, uh, this had actually a nice kind of transition from a flat surface um, round, and that's what supports this part. <coughs> And when I do things like this, it's to illuminate it because I know that when I render, there's not going to be any light there. Um, so it's kind of planning ahead when um, I put lights and stuff like that there. But um, overall, I'd say, yeah, that that's about it. When it comes to, you know, when, when it comes to what am I thinking about when I'm making things like this, a lot of it is balance, flow, and where's detail and rest. Uh, I do put in too much detail, uh, probably always will, no, but, but um, <clears throat> I'm getting better at it and it's just trying to, you know, break up shapes. Um, so this piece, for example, I knew was really detailed um, and even this part here is really simple and that's just so that when light rebounds off it, there's like a simple surface that draws you towards the center. This part is also glowing, so you're going to look there anyway. But I thought it'd help versus having these cables all the way around. Um, and then the whole like of this front is detail heavy. So then this bit is quite simple. And then this part is like in itself a detail part. So then I wanted like these this area here to be... Oh, hang on. It's jamming. There you go. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Yeah, my laptop's not happy. All right, um, I wanted this part to be relatively simple and that's why like this for example is really simple Look, it's, it's, There's nothing on it literally nothing on it um, To just draw straight back that, the idea is just like flow straight to the back Everything is facing this direction. This is also flowing in and this kind of reinforces the flow And that's what I was trying to kind of get the idea in with um, a lot of this really uh, also making something like this where it has two positions uh, is very hard because you're trying to balance how it looks in this view and also balance how it looks in this view um, but you know I got there eventually so it was alright if I just remove this you can see the actual silhouette of uh, and turn on no, okay show everything then hide this yeah okay what is that? Yeah, so you can see how it. Move you out the way. Came out in the end. Oh, I moved the solar panels. My bad. Oh, I moved them. Move them. Hang on. Let me just move this back down. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it slows real. You can see the struggle. Like <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's like it's just dying. And this is, I think, is this the only one open? Yep. There's only one. There's only one open. Okay, down. Nope. All right, this isn't gonna work. Forget. It. I can't be asked. But <clears throat> okay. Jeez. Hello. You can see where I'm getting at. Um, silhouette wise. And then just pull it back up. And there you go. Um, there'll probably be tons of questions about this. It's not a problem. I can probably make another video about smaller bits or exact bits later. But um, I'm gonna get to the key shot bit. All right, and this will be the final bit, which is a uh, key shot and the kind of setup I had for this. So this is where the main image comes from. As you can see, it's quite dark because it hasn't gone through post. But um, the, yeah, this is actually how it looks in yeah, it's, it's gonna take a while. Jeez, oh gosh, actually, it'll be interesting to see the speed differences um, once I do have a quadro card and red shift or octane. 
but right now this is Keyshot running on my laptop processor, which is a 6 core, it's very fast, but it's not fast enough, <laughs> as you can see, but um, I'll quickly go over like the lighting setups I have for this, so, hang on, <coughs> uh, shift F, oh, cool. uh, let's have a look, so scene, environment yeah so what i do is i split it up into environment and camera and the camera environment will have a corresponding setup for it so this is front three quarter front three quarter camera and that means that the lighting is made for this angle probably when stuff was down i'm not sure <coughs> but yeah um that probably gives you an idea so let's say front uh rear, yeah so if we go rear and no, not rare three quarter rare there you go yeah so <coughs> hang on this floor is a bit weird and also i have to do a weird like import of the the propellers so i have multiple instances of them in different positions and i'm not exactly sure why i had to do that but i did so it would be tilted yeah there you go <coughs> And for example, that is where one of the final renders came from. I think it's... Let's have a look. Dum dum. Uh, not that one. Keep going down. This scroll of the mouse one is this one. Yeah. So that came from that. But with like lightening up in Photoshop and stuff like that. Um, and then you can see side so that's the side lighting for example sometimes i mix because <clears throat> what will happen is you'll make a lighting for one angle and then it will look good at that angle but sometimes you'll also change the angle and the lighting will still look good from another angle so sometimes you can just mix them up but um for side was mostly that kind of lighting um so look feet yeah so let's have a look at the feet the feet is something i didn't actually upload <clears throat> which is this part um i messed around with these for a while because I, I i thought i got some really nice ones actually but um the final renders just never really they weren't perfect it was hard to read and i think that was the issue <clears throat> they did look nice though especially this one um so in the end i i, I left it unfortunately but um if we just go through the other cameras as well, under uh, bed, face, close face, yeah, <clears throat> I didn't, so this was one I had uh, planned for the interior, um, so that you could actually see the batteries and stuff inside, but um, in the end, I didn't keep this one, uh, I'm wondering whether I've got a render of it, uh, yeah, so close face, yeah. Oh, damn. Hmm. Totally forgot about this. <clears throat> I might upload this actually in the in the next post. But yeah, th those were some other views. Um, if I just move the camera, can I move the camera? Yeah. So you can kind of see the speed it resolves at. Um, and yeah, this is what I have to work with. Like when I'm uh, dragging on stations and stuff, it does take a, quite a bit of time <clears throat> to see what you're doing, especially if you have materials. Um, because with this much noise, you can't tell if there's a roughness map or not. And when you're trying to test roughness maps, it's not helping. Like, you, you can't tell. So that was one of the challenges. Um, another challenge, I obviously am not going to do it in this video. But to get this model into Keyshot takes about 15 minutes. Um, and you don't know whether it's crashed or not. So many of the times you'll just you'll just close it you'll be like oh it's taking 10 minutes it's too long um and yeah it just really takes really long so it's, it was um it was quite hard actually making this this is the latest like that is the last thing i did but i'm gonna go to some of the the older ones because i think the older ones are more interesting actually um i wasn't a fan of the ambulance colors i'm not a fan of white and red together i'm not a fan of rendering red in general or even putting I, I just wouldn't put red on many things so having to do that was almost a limitation but um you know i worked around it and i got it did i got it done in the end um but earlier images were white and black and that looked a lot better as it will load here uh yeah so 
this was some early experimentation I can show you like um okay fine uh, center and fit part I can show you what the the lights if you remember the cube thing I did um, can I region render this yeah Let's just all right there you go <coughs> I hope this comes through, but you can see the refraction effect it has um, with the glass. It's not just like flat glass, but it has this kind of almost um, like a stained window of a church, but without the colours, because it's obviously got the geo in the glass bending and refracting the light. Um, so I really liked that. And then here you can see the contrast with the really flat glass there. Um, uh, let's take off this region and check out the font so what i did with this this version here uh is i tried it with frosted glass <coughs> and i really liked the way that looked i think i have uh, a complete render here ish somewhere uh youtube final renders oh hang on where are you Okay, I don't have one, but you can see it. It's resolved. It's taken me so long to search for it. You can <clears throat> you can see what it looks like, um, and I really liked that. It didn't make much. It didn't make all the sense, so I didn't upload that one. But I will probably um, upload it on this art station post that I put this video with, um, because this like bit of development I did like. And so for the camera, look at the camera. Oh, back. Uh, Set models, camera target, center and fit. Whoa. Yeah. Just give that a bit of time. <coughs> so yeah, um, I don't know what it's reflecting. That looks weird. But um, uh, you can see the carbon fiber weave here as well now, uh, which you can't see from further out because the scale wasn't big enough. But um, I did love the way that camera did come out. It's a really tiny detail, but um, I think it adds a lot. Uh, but yeah, it was mostly like, it was just a lot of tweaking, a lot of light setups. Let me show you, by the way, how lighting in Keyshot works. Um, <clears throat> this is the, one of the main reasons I use Keyshot um, over anything else, is the ability to make these HDR... Oh, this one's going to take a while, so shouldn't have loaded this. <sighs> yeah, this one has an actual HDRI in there, that's why it takes this time to load the big image um, but most of them are studio lighting I did just studio lighting here you go paint and pins yeah uh, there you go so that's using an actual image which is why it looks like it's in a cafe shop I guess but um, yeah so let's just I'll just make a new lighting setup now uh, blank environment uh, do I have any I don't want to do it like that no. just copy this one and then, pin? yeah, good. All right, so let me just delete this. Um, it has this cool thing where you can, let me just pull this along so you can see better. Okay, not helping. So you can make new pins and you can either control it here as to where you want the pin to be and that will affect your lighting. Or you can select on the model and it will, it, like it knows like where that piece of the model is. So when it comes to lighting something like this, um, you'd kind of aim for the back. I'm aiming for like a highlight. Uh, so that's that's almost like rim light-ish. It's not really. I'm trying to because there's a HDRI, it is still hard to light certain areas. But uh, let's just say I'm just gonna go with that one. Edge, no nope, edge, more edge. Uh, yeah, so they, uh, it will do, it will do. Yeah, that's better. Then you'd be like, okay, cool, one light. Then the next light I might want from like this angle or, and that depends on what you're trying to light, of course. Um, and then you can kind of focus it on what you want. Oh, I want that bit of the camera or the top of the camera <clears throat> or, the, you know. So that's what it is. It's just a lot of tweaking. And then once you've got what you want, you press done, and then you have your lights up. And then you have multiple setups for multiple angles. Um, so that's what I did with that. This, for example, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
loading. Yeah, it takes a long time to load these though. Jesus. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, sometimes I save out separate key shot saves. As you can see, I'm loading a new one instead of loading just a lighting setup or something. That's because um, you'll have different materials or maybe different models in different ones that you want to render from. So the one I'm going to now is <clears throat> a close up of I think it was the drone two saves before it was complete. But it was complete enough at the front that I could use it for the front renders. Look how long this takes, jeez. But, um, yeah. Uh, I don't want to ask this, yeah. Uh, challenges. Oh, um, uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Jeez, oh, so slow. All right. Uh, yep. Oh, I'll open the bed render. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll show that. The bed and the battery. So, yeah, now this. Whoa, did I use this in the end? No, this is before. So, you can see it's got the old decal at that point. Um, this was a. Um, okay, yeah, so this was an. Um, a test render from earlier. Um, of the front of the ship and this one was quite interesting. I liked this. This this was um Very close to final But I don't know if I used these in the end. Um, I don't think I did I'm trying to just find yeah, so Open please. Thank you That's yeah where this came from um, With this one it was it was just trying to reduce noise like color noise and actual noise um, but this was like a quick render these are like five minutes or something so it's not too bad um, but I was just getting to grips with okay what color scheme are we going for where's going to be red where's going to be white where's going to be black um, uh, any more in here this is another render I love this one it, <laughs> the the, f the floor looks almost like a weird water um, sorry. but uh, it was distracting that's the only reason why I didn't upload this one but I will put it probably on this post as well um, just with like the, the renders that never kind of made it because a lot of them are pretty cool including this one <clears throat> uh, this one is where you can really see the butterfly um, it's much easier to understand where it's coming from this I don't know if this one made it in but um, this was a really cool one as well so what's this? Oh, this is similar but not the same uh, this one as well. I loved this, but um, <clears throat> Frank Alex said it wasn't very readable. I don't know. I, I, I still kind of like it, so <laughs> I need to maybe my eye needs to improve. But um, cool, yeah, and yeah, it's loaded. So yeah, this is a pretty cool. This yeah, this is close. Yeah, you can see there's black hair. There's black there. So th these are this is like an alternate color scheme as well. Um, but it was still a bit too noisy, so I pulled back on it again. And if you see the foot, yeah, actually, this is using like it seems like a kind of glass um, Swede in it. Uh, lighting. Yeah, it's like using a silicon <clears throat> see-through like surface, but in the end, I just left it to normal like. Um, metallic, I guess. Because uh, for me, I like playing with a lot of materials, but the problem is it then becomes harder to read because there's so many material breakups along the way. So I've kind of got to keep a control on that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show what it looks like in Keyshot as well. Um, so you've got an idea of kind of how it gets to that final render. Um, I don't really do anything magical when it comes to um, the uh, where are you? Final uh, PSD. Yeah, so let's. I'll open a PSD and that'll be the last thing. I, oh shit, I didn't open a bed. Oh, sorry. Uh, Alright, I know what to do. Open a PSD and open a bed. Uh, what's this? Final in this PV. Finale. Okay. Bed, 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 bed. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Phone, 
decent. Uh, bad. I think this is quicker to open actually because it's not. It's it's um, yeah. Oh, a bit barely. Uh, so let's have a look. Beauty render. Yeah. No, 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 no. Open it in Photoshop. Jeez, you. Wait so long for things to just load. Pause. No. Oh, it doesn't have the layers. Damn. Okay, it doesn't have the layers, so I can't even show that. That's. Hmm. Okay, fine. Yes, so this was the bed um, that the render came from for this. Nope, don't have one marvelous. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, damn. Yeah, that's the bed before. Obviously, there's any post. Um, but this is it in its actual environment. Uh, I rendered just the bed because you don't. It, it doesn't make sense to have the rest of the ship taking up RAM and space. Um, so for this, I just like focused on the bed area. But um, yeah, it came out. I was I was really happy with the bed. Um, one of the surprising pieces. Just given that it wasn't the main part of the drone, but um, it still, you know, resolved quite nicely. So I'm going to probably close it here. But um, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm all over the place because honestly, it's like it's two months of like mental hell <laughs> and trauma, <laughs> but um, kind of squashed into an hour. It's, it's really hard. This is to like explain everything because there was just so much. Um, but if you have like any questions about specific parts that don't make sense, which is fine and probably won't um, Or anything you want me to go over like in depth or maybe even remodel and like, oh, okay, how did you make that? Then I can definitely do that